Hype Tech Lab here. Today we are on the roof of my RV because my air conditioner here is not working very good. Part of the problem is over here we're connected to a well house. There's just a 20 amp feed out of there. The cord just plugged into the front. And I observed today while running my air conditioning that it seemed like there wasn't very much airflow and that it wasn't cooling very good. So after investigating a little bit, I found out that I had a frosted up evaporator. Now the evaporator is the part in the air conditioner that gets cold and then the indoor air runs through that evaporator and makes it even cold, like makes the air cold so that the room can be cold. Now this unit I've had open and I wanted to show you guys what the situation is. I already have all of the screws removed. So I'm going to pull off this main outer cover and that's held on with just four screws typically. And the first thing I'm going to check, kind of thinking through the refrigeration process, this is the condenser, the hot side. I want to check if this condenser is dirty. Now this one is pretty clean, so further going through our uh, troubleshooting issues, I come around to this side. Now after killing a wasp nest, I pulled this cover off and this exposed me to the evaporator. Now this, this part right here is called the compressor. And what this is doing is compressing a refrigerant in here, running it through the condenser, and turning a high pressure uh, vapor into a high pressure liquid that then comes through some small tubes right here, and then it expands inside of this evaporator, and that expansion makes it cold. So in here it's getting really, really cold. And then that cold, uh, essentially, uh, vapor then goes back into the compressor. So what's going on in here is there wasn't very much airflow, and this whole coil was frosted up with ice that was then blocking the airflow. And that's why I was recognizing inside of the RV that there wasn't very much cold air coming through because this was literally a solid block of ice. Now I was trying to think through what was causing this issue, and it comes back to where we started. Over on the where well house, we're only feeding this with 20 amps. So this fan motor isn't spinning at its full speed, and that's causing poor airflow across this evaporator, which means even though the compressor is spinning at the same speed, because it's based on the frequency of the line, uh, it's slower on the fan, which means there's poor airflow to take away all of that cold, and essentially. And that's why it frosted up, is because of poor airflow. So that's one thing to keep in mind, even though your circuit may be able to power it, and it's, it's been running, it'll run for hours and hours, the voltage drop may be causing poor airflow across the evaporator, and that may be the cause of some poor airflow problems and poor air conditioning. Another thing you may want to check if you're getting poor air conditioning is make sure this is clean. If you have the filter inside dirty and plugged up, that can cause this to become the filter essentially. And if this is plugged up with debris, you're no longer gonna have proper airflow, which means you'll no longer have proper cooling. So that's a few things if you have an RV you may want to think of and consider. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of what I found today on my adventure. So if you found this video interesting, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see more cool videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And be sure to check out my website on the link in the description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.